let me simulate it once again to see what is the performance after replacing tlin with mlin so you see it is a very simple circuit so the shift is very low the level of depth is also reduced it was minus 80 before maybe now it is minus 45 so there are losses and there is shift also so for that you are provided two tools one is tuning another is optimization so you will tune or optimize these parameters w and l to get the performance right okay so for that let me do tuning first save as okay so tune once you click the tuning it will ask which parameter you want to tune so now you can see this plus uh, dotted sign so i am selecting this now once i select this transmission line this micro strip line it will show me the attributes which you want to tune so let us tune both w and l so this is the window where you get the minimum and maximum values the step size is defined for tuning the way i did and it will show you the current value so let us tune it so i am tuning it uh, i can directly scroll this and see the behavior okay so it is now one but i want it to go deeper for the better performance so i finish it here i can update schematic which will update this with the current value okay so i am closing it so this was tuning and what if we want to use this optimizer for that ads provide us so let me go back to tuning again what i will do i will just collect this uh, click on this tuner i will click on the parameters which i wanted to select then once these are selected i will tune this based on the performance so i am distorting it considering i will use the optimizer okay so let me keep it this way update close so i have this bad performance i want to optimize my parameters to have a decent performance at 1 gigahertz and for that uh, i will go back to palette <coughs> i will select this particular title optimization stat doe so here i will take the optimization control so likewise there was this parameter controller i will take this optimization controller so let me double click on it what all it will require so it shows use all the goals in design so if you have a optimization controller and every optimization must have a goal what you want to achieve so it is that goal which is discussed here optimization goal and variable setup so whatever goals we will put we want all the goals to be considered number of iterations so let me increase the iterations desired error always zero then optimization variable like we defined tuning variables we need to define optimization variable too then it is for the parameters final analysis your sp1 status level can be left to any number uh, i mean just leave it to default uh, update during update display during optimization that i have selected so that once it will optimize it will keep on showing you the outcome of every iteration uh, let me come back to op output data is there anything to change optimization variable goal expression uh, analysis outputs 
okay no nothing to change i don't want everything clear all okay so this is our optimization controller and we need goals for this controller to run this is goal now what is the goal we need to have the expression which is s11 in our case so it is db s11 we will write here db s 1 comma 1 then analysis which analysis so we are doing sp1 analysis s parameter analysis which is available in drop down okay then wait let us leave it to default and then it says what will what is the limit you are looking for so limit 1 type here are the types inside outside equal less than or greater than so what is our goal uh, i want this particular expression to have a number to have a number less than minus 40 maybe for better value minus 40 at 1 gigahertz right so i am saying less than minus 40 this is my limit and wait let us leave it to default now i haven't defined frequency i said i need this value at 1 gigahertz but i haven't defined it so if i don't define it the same goal will be applicable for this whole range from 0.5 to 1.5 because our analysis is sp1 so we can overrule that by selecting this frequency here so you can define the range of frequency minimum to maximum but what if we want at 1 you can either write 1 gigahertz in the same manner i am writing or i have i give some freedom to ads to have a range though that is very narrow okay so you can define both ways once i click okay my goal is defined and now should i optimize it no because i haven't selected the optimization variable yet these variables and for that you go to simulate simulation variable setup here you can define the variables variable setup the first thing is tuning which we did directly you can either come here and uh, tune the tune up you can define the tuning range of a particular variable so let me remove this come back come go to optimization now i will choose these variables for the to keep them as a optimization variable once i select it the minimum maximum format we will choose from 50 to 53 i can go to 1410 to 1440 and now let me optimize it so we'll see if there is an error okay no error and now the optimization is happening so we have selected that every iteration should show the out outcome so this is why you are able to see it okay so this is what i wanted our goal is still not achieved this is our goal that 0.999 gigahertz to 1.001 gigahertz i have to attain a value of minus 40 which is not yet achieved and you can see the error history the value is the error is decreased but not zero so for that you can edit the variables so i am updating it because there is some uh improvement i will go back to variable setup 
so we see it is reached to 53 with very minute uh, improvement let me increase it to 58 this time and this 1440 will also go higher so let us have 1460 okay then i will optimize it again so this parameter so the way we were sliding this ads will do this optimization you see it is being slid through the ads through ads so you see this panel once again in this panel you see iteration limit is in uh, reached so you don't need to close it every time you just click on the edit algorithm and you can change the number of iterations directly you can change this uh, optimization process also which is there are several processes which are being followed for this uh, optimization algorithm and you can select it based on your choice i keep it i mostly use random or gradient i don't go further so since this is a simple process i am keeping it random then if you are not achieving the goal you finding it very hard you can edit the goals directly from here so you can relax your goals also for example you are not able to achieve minus 40 you can relax these things or if you want to change the variables you can edit the variables so here i am again closing it going to simulation variable setup increasing it to 15 1450 okay now let me optimize it again okay so we okay. this is how we get the perfect result perfect result based on our requirement so for this value i will update it in this window which you already know by selecting a marker you can see what is the value at what point so this is how we have optimized